All right, so as you guys know, in the last video, we went ahead and we ditched our super restrictive stock downpipe with both the cats and everything in it. And we went ahead and we threw a catless downpipe into the Mark II TTS. And today, obviously we're gonna be tuning it so that we can take advantage of the new power that our TT is gonna unlock with some Unitronic stage two here in just a second. But if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you aren't, welcome back. My name is Ty. That is my 2013 Mark II TTS in Samoa Orange, one of 20 in North America. And we're on the process, or we are in the process of trying to make it as fast as we physically can without hopefully ever blowing up the motor, but we might build it one day. So we're gonna get you guys in the car and we're going to, uh, get this bad boy all tuned up with stage two here. Now, for those of you that have watched my tuning videos before, you already know how easy it is to go ahead and tune your car with Unitronics UniConnect and their software. I'll run through it really quickly one more time if you're doing this for the first time on your Mark II TTS or any car for uh, Unitronic tuning, as it's super, super simple. The first thing that we're gonna need is our UniConnect cable. So you're gonna go ahead and plug that into your OED port wherever that may be on your car. Mine is up right near the dead pedal. I'm gonna put the key in the ignition, power up the car. I just turn everything off in my car, like infotainment, lights, radar detectors. <laughs> and we're gonna fire up our laptop here. Make sure we have some internet here. And then once we do, we're going to open up the UniConnect app. Go ahead and confirm our VIN real quick. Gonna do our engine flash first, obviously, because that's what we've changed. And then we'll do the DSG as well in a second here. So we got our stage two. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna download our tune. All right, so it's program. We're going key off, following all the steps. Cool. All right, so now we're also gonna do the TCU because we have the TCU tune as well. We're stage one, we're going to stage two, and we're gonna agree, and it's gonna start, and now it's gonna do its thing for the DSG tune as well. With all that done, fire up the TT. Doesn't really sound any different uh, than it did with the stage one plus with the exhaust now done, or the downpipe, I should say. So go for a uh, quick trip out to Mexico, and then we'll go we'll do our draggy testing and everything, and I guess I should plug this guy in to make sure it's charged. I will see you in Mexico. Okay, so before we get into the uh, the rest of the video here, we'll quickly go over our uh, our draggy information as we have done for every stage so far. Biggest thing across the board right away that is really, really exciting for me with the stage two, the 60 foot is now officially below two seconds, even though it's a 1.98 uh, was actually our average. So that was uh, what we got between three runs there as well with the stage two back to back. Um, and our quarter mile time is now mid to uh, mid low 12s. I would really, really like to get the car into the 12s without doing a turbo upgrade. And I'm pretty sure that won't be an issue. Um, and our fastest run, 12.43, like I said, with the uh, with the higher slope. And overall, we're just seeing a very decent improvement. Uh, our trap speed quarter mile on stage one plus was 169, and now we're at 178 with a difference of about half of a full second, which is awesome. So yeah, the car is definitely getting faster the more and more that we modify the car and the higher that we get into the stages here. For those of you that know the Unitronic tunes or basically anything to do with the two liter TFSI lineup of engines we do have the high pressure fuel pump upgrade to do next um, i don't have an intake on the car yet i don't have an intercooler on the car yet but i do have some more parts that we're going to be installing so let's go check out what those are number one thing that we're going to be doing in an upcoming video uh, i've gone ahead and got myself some servicing stuff to be able to do the dsg because the dsg does need to be serviced it hasn't been done since the car was new which is not fantastic definitely needs to be done so hopefully that's going to help our our dsg's drivability there are no issues right now but you never know older fluid and just some issues that older fluid can have are hopefully going to get fixed by us doing the service so that is thing number one that we have that out of the way 
Uh, don't worry about those. Next big thing that I am going to be testing. I got myself a GFB diverter valve. So this is the, uh, the new style one. So the original one was just like a top hat that you added onto the factory diverter valve. This is the full replacement unit, the new one that they released um, a couple months ago. So we're gonna test that out and I'll obviously do all the data and everything to see what the boost response and all that is compared to factory um, against the new guy. So we'll do that in another video as well. And then of course we have a high pressure fuel pump insert. And then obviously the biggest box that is uh, below everything. We have H&R lowering springs. These were a little bit difficult to get. Um, I'm not gonna put the car on coilovers yet because my TTS has mag ride, which is awesome. It makes a huge difference for me. I've never owned a vehicle that has mag ride. It makes the car really, really stiff when you activate it and then it kind of goes into a nice soft drive mode when you don't have it on. These springs are different than the regular TTS one that has the fixed suspension. So these took a little bit to get, but we have a lot of stuff that we need to start throwing on the vehicle. Um, and then there is one more thing that I might order, uh, depending on if I can get some feedback from some people. Um, and that is, I can't remember what company it is, but it's a rear seat delete, like a carbon fiber strut bar and a net that goes in the back of the car. Uh, just because that is a $600 piece just to delete the rear seats. And the only reason I'm considering that is because the rear seats are completely useless because every person that I know is over five foot six and does not fit in the back of my TT to begin with. So there's no reason to have it and I don't have kids. So <laughs> we'll see, I'm not too pressed about it. Now there is one more thing I wanna talk to you guys about um, in terms of mods, just to see what you guys kind of think about all that. So at this point, I don't have an intake. However, I don't wanna get an open box, uh, like CTS turbos intake, I don't wanna get one of those. Integrated Engineering has their full carbon fiber box that replaces this tube as well for sale right now. And I've been looking at draggy times on, on the draggy app. And there are some people that have some very, very fast times with that box installed with a stock turbo. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go that route. Um, there are no other companies, like I said, that have a closed box design right now that works well other than staying stock. And the stock box doesn't have a snow guard and a whole bunch of other stuff that some of the golfs and everything have because it is a performance model. That's pretty much my option right now for putting an intake on it. And then I got to find an intercooler as well and we'll deal with that in a different video. But but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you from me and my freshly shaved bald bald head if you like today's video don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new here um we will be obviously making a lot more videos in terms of making the tt as fast as possible i want to go test and see if it's capable of doing some stuff out uh, out in the street here so i might do a, a little bit more of a rowdy video in the next couple days hopefully this week because i've got a little bit of free time coming up here um we've also got some stuff going on with the sonoma it's almost done it's almost ready to go do burnouts uh if you do follow me on tiktok you'll see that i had the car not the car the truck idling the other day um and yeah if you don't follow me on tiktok go follow me on tiktok all my social media stuff is in the description but anyways ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching peace out i will see you in the next video